Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Important announcement. This is a time that calls for serious personal discipline. Things have changed. You can't continue the way you used to. You have to listen to the authorities. You have to take instructions. And you have to be serious with prayer. And if you're not sure of your status in Christ, forget being Deeper Life member. Make sure you're saved. Make sure you're saved. Very important. And don't take for granted how easy or cheap the instructions you are giving you. You hear that you should wash your hands. Please wash your hands, even if they don't do that in your culture. They hear you should protect yourself from people that are sick. Stay away. Observe it. Family members, it's like you really don't have too much choice because you, are li you live in the same house. Nobody's allowed to be homeless or be on the street at this time. But let's be sure that we are observing instructions that are given us. Government orders, whether city, state, or federal, they are for our protection, and we must... Endeavor to keep to those instructions. If you are not involved with needed services, you are required certain conditions. We're going to put up some of this on our, the church website in case you haven't run into it yet. But I'm sure you listen to the news. Pay attention to what is being said. Take care of yourself. And those of us in professions that require PPE, personal protective equipment, you have to put them on and you have to see how you separate them when you get home from the people at home so that you don't cross-contaminate your home and expose other members of the family that are not doctors or nurses or CNAs into the bug you may, you may have carried without being sick. Watch for people with symptoms of fever, or cough, or shortness of breath, or any symptom that has to do with your uh, GI, gastrointestinal system. Nobody has full knowledge of this pandemic. It's new. We're learning as we go along. So you cannot call classic symptoms. Because even with the fever and the cough and all that, we know of a healthcare provider that got sick with some other symptoms for more than two weeks before she was diagnosed. And that brings us to the church programs. This weekend will be the last time we're going to be gathering together. We're going virtual. And so it's important, if you do not have a cell phone, you have to let us know immediately. If you don't have a cell phone or access to a computer, you have to let us know immediately. As concerning access to a computer, it, that access has to be available to you at the time of the usual meeting period. That will be... Monday, 7 p.m., Bible study. That will be Friday, 7 p.m., like this. 
Friday Revival Service. And that will be Sunday 9 a.m. And uh, uh, that will be Sunday service. A Sunday service will be modi modified to some extent. I'll give you all the details, uh, both at the website and on Sunday. For now, to join the service on the air, you just need a phone that can talk to you. OK. You need a phone, and you go to dlbc.net slash live. dlbc.net slash live. That's our website. We're going to be paying for Zoom service, and we'll load the message there for access to everybody at those times. We are still working out details on modalities and how many personnel will be involved in that since everybody is mandated to be home. If you miss that, you will have to get the GS message off the YouTube. That's also available on the website. For your giving, your girl, of course, you are here. You can give physically tonight, but subsequently, going forward, we have set up Zell with the church account. You just need the email I'm going to announce now, and it will be on the website, for you to send your tithes and offering to the church website. I'm giving you a few seconds to uh, take down the information, or you can go to our website if you miss any detail. The Zelle, for you to send money through Zelle, Z-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E. if Control Room can put that up, that will be fine. To send your offering or your tithe uh, to the church, you will need this email address, DLBC Bronze Finance, Finance, F-I-N-A-N-C-E. DLBC Bronze Finance at gmail.com. DLBC Bronze Finance at gmail.com. Write it in full, at gmail.com. Thank you. God bless you. That is the information you need to send your tithes and offering. When you get in there, it, once you, it, it will kind of direct you what to do, and uh, you, the money will get from your account to the church account automatically. For our fasting that we have scheduled, We've scheduled fasting for April 4th. Is that right? It will, we're not going to come together to close the prayer at the church. We'll do a phone conference to close that fasting. And so the leader for that fasting would set up a, free, a, 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 a schedule at freeconference.com and we'll log in, sign in at the same time that we'll be informed and finish that praying then. Because the church has this heavy duty following this pestilence, we will be praying and the prayer leaders and coordinators and pastors, please take note. Every Sunday at 8.30 p.m. on the phone, free conference for one hour. Because God has promised us, and we have to take God at his word. He has promised us, his children, that if he brings pestilence and we ask him, 
to reverse it. That he will reverse it. He says, if I shut up heaven that there be no rain, famine, drought, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people, this one is a noisome pestilence. It occupies all the news outlets anywhere you turn. Or if I send pestilence among my people, if my people, God's people are here, I say God's people are here, is that right? If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves, it's time for the church to humble herself. Humble themselves and pray. And not just pray and abandon the episode. Not just pray and not expect an answer. You pray and you hear the case, the number of positive cases are increasing. He says, and seek my face. You continue to pray. You seek his face. And you personally make sure during this period that you are living right. And turn from their wicked ways. Let no wickedness be the, the accusation of any member of this church. Whether at work, whether at home, let's be nice people. Drop the anger. Drop the animosity. Let's be nice people. Let me take that again. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn themselves that are praying and looking for answer, turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. America will be healed. You didn't hear what I said. I said, America, United States of America, will be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. And so, thus far, we have the announcement that the governor announced today that there will be mandatory, they didn't use the word Stay in shelter. New York has to have its own word. But it's 100%. Everybody stay where you are unless you are involved in essential services. I'm sure your places of work have already imposed. If they haven't, impose some restrictions. If they haven't, if they haven't it will be coming. And make time to pray for those of us that they say we're in the forefront, the medical profession, and they provide you no protection. Pray for us, because sometimes while others think that life is so easy for those people, they don't know the challenges those people face. The condition can change any time. Let's be alert. Let's pray for one another. Let the Lord bless the land. Let's rise up together and talk to the Lord.